GE wind turbines over there. Oh yeah. Yeah, so um, this is the south facing roof. It has 30 laminates on it and of course uh, uh, we uh, had to leave room for the uh, thermal siphon uh, solar hot water system which you see in front which uh, does a really good job with no pumps and um, they were considering replacing it and um, we decided to just go ahead and move it and put it back in. It's a perfect system and it's working great <coughs> around the roof and what we have here. So this is, this is the whole thing. This is the 30 for the south facing roofer on here and they just did. They just made it. And um, so this is, uh, makes uh, just about all the power for this house. So now this is a zero energy home. Huh. Zero energy. So I, I notice there's no uh, glass on these uh, right. solar panels. There's, there's no glass. Uh, well, of course, these hot water panels have glass because that glass is an excellent uh, insulator and it's perfect for a hot water solar system. Actually, glass is a uh, design flaw, in my opinion, for uh, the glass type panels because they make them run too hot. Yeah. And you lose efficiency. They, they, they uh, have heat fading. It's called temperature coefficients or heat fading. And they, uh, they uh, fade. The power output fades and they get hot. And these run cooler because uh, they're uh, exposed to the air. There's no, there's no uh, glass to act as a thermal barrier. And glass can break. Uh, these things can take impact from hail, rocks, golf balls. Mm -hmm. um, they've uh, survived. Uh, they can survive uh, having one of the cells damaged or shaded, and they keep right on working right around it. So um, this system is providing 14 to 15 kilowatt hours per day wow. um, on average. And uh, that would be a stabilized output by now. That's what we're seeing about now, is, uh, 14 to 15 kilowatt hours per day. So she, is she actually selling energy back to the grid? Well, it's a net metered. There's no sales. Um, although, if there was a situation where she did, there was a net at the end of the year where she would, had sold, had pushed more back into the grid, then yes, they would they would have to buy it from her. But it's at a much reduced rate. Um, I'm trying to remember what it is. I think it's only eight cents a kilowatt hour. That they would pay her. Seven cents. That they charge. That they mm -hmm. charge. So <laughs> they're making money on it. But uh, you know, when you put in these systems, you're doing the utility a favor because during the peak use out hours, uh, this system is putting out peak amounts of power. So this this house is actually helping to run the entire block. You know, and it takes the load off the. Electric